With our anchors deployed and our tablet connected, we can now start setting up our Zactrack mini system. First, we need to create a new show. Go to the three dots at the top right-hand corner of the ZackTrack app. Click on New Show and create an empty show. Once done, you will see the yield triangle at the top right-hand corner of the screen. This indicates that the show on the tablet is not in sync with the show on the actual server or master anchor. So you simply click on the symbol and upload to server. You will have to do this anytime there is a change that you need to send to the server. Within the Show Editor tab, at the bottom left-hand corner, click on Points. As you can see, one anchor already appears. This, of course, is the master anchor, which has that direct Wi-Fi connection established. Now we must do a system calibration. This results in the creation of our 2D mesh of our tracking performance area. And as part of this process, the other mini anchors will be brought into the system. So click on System Calibration. The new window offers a few options. The first one is Reinitialize System. This is setting up a brand new mini system, which of course is what we will choose today. The next option is Reposition Anchors. This is if you need to move one or two anchors after the initial system calibration is completed. The third option is called Reinitialize System Measure. This is what we would use if we needed a laser distance measure to put the anchors accurately into the space. This is typically used on our pro system, but can also be used for Mini and Smart. But today we want to take advantage of the more automated parts of the Mini setup procedure. Finally, the last option is Validate Anchors, which is used when we need to see how accurate the system thinks the mesh is. With Reinitialize System selected, click on Next. And then you can see all of the five Mini anchors are now detected over ultra wideband. Click Next. Then we need to use four of our trackers and the calibration discs that come in our mini kit. We put these together on the floor to help do the system calibration and the creation of our 2D mesh. Once you click System Calibration, the four relevant trackers will start flashing in the color they need to match the color disc so we know where to put them on the floor. The colors help to define the axis of our system. The white indicates our origin, so this is our zero position within our system. It doesn't have to be the exact origin of the stage, it just needs to be a point that we can remember again. Then red defines our x-axis, green defines our y-axis, and blue is an additional fourth coordinate that the system uses to create the mesh. I like to call it the bonus point. The trackers are deployed in a rough rectangle or square with trackers at least three meters apart from each other. If any of the trackers are on a different height for this procedure, that height can be measured and entered manually in the app. When we click Next, the system calibration begins. At this point, each anchor and tracker are communicating with each other over ultra-wideband radio, locating each specific component in the system and working on its precise position. This process should take only one to two minutes and after each, a calibration result will be known. Ideally, it will be a green tick with a good result, colored green also meaning everything looks good and you can proceed. However, if the calibration result is just okay, colored yellow, or red indicating bad, then we would advise going through the procedure again and relocating some of your anchors, which are probably in less than ideal positions. To assist with this, we have what is known as the anchor link. This is a fault-finding tool which shows the signal strength of each anchor relative to the master anchor and can help indicate bad anchor positioning. To see it, click on the three dots in the top right-hand corner and go to the tracking server. Then click Anchor Link. Here you can see an anchor or anchors that have bad signal strength. Then you will probably need to physically move them. So for example, maybe one is too close to a wall or the floor. Maybe one is too close to an automated lighting fixture. Once you have your anchors in the new positions, please repeat the system calibration process where we would expect it to now give you a good result. Now all of your anchors are precisely located in our space and our 2D mesh is now created. To see the tracking, we will need to have an actor patched into the system as well. Go to the show editor and then the actors tab. 
Press the green plus in the top right hand section of this menu. First we name our actor and press OK. Once here we go to select tracker and choose one of the trackers seen by the system. You know which tracker is which by looking at the EUI number on the back label of the tracker. This will correspond to the EUI numbers in the software. Once a tracker is selected, press OK. Now we need to upload this information to the server. Once it is uploaded, in the live view, you will see the tracker appear on the map. This is because the tracker is active. We have established tracking in a matter of minutes.